Hey everyone, I want to share with you today what I've received so far for the month of July. For this portion of the haul, I have a bunch of orders here that I got while I was out of town. So I'm really excited to rip into these. Some of them I have opened, some I haven't, so I'm excited. Um, so let's get started. First, I have this order from Carly Plants. I don't think there was, I think I bought this during a sale, like a birthday sale maybe. So here are my freebies on top. This was my the PR freebie I got for LDW Plans. I got this one because it has like a bunch of Mexican themed foods and I, I did just get back from Mexico. So I thought these would be good for marking like stuff that I eat while I'm there. Then here's the July freebie. I love this cupcake. I'm excited for that to come into the shop. This is a $15 plus freebie. I love these little kitties. And then here is the preview of the colorway for the month of August, which is kind of like just a brown, gray, black kind of look. And here's my $50 plus freebie. I love this colorway and I love the variety of icons. I'll get used out of all of these except for these down here. So it's still really good. Um, okay, so here's what I ordered. First up, I got the building blocks because I went to the Lego store not too long ago and I bought a Harry Potter Lego set and I wanted to get some Lego stickers to mark that. Then I got the books in the July colorway, the tacos, sticker sheets, the handheld games, Chick-fil-A bags, Messy Bed, YouTube Heart, Tool Variety, because I'm still building furniture around our house, Hammers, uh, Rain and Storm, Televisions, and then I got the um, Emotionally Unwell scripts because I think this is a really funny way to describe how sometimes I'm just not feeling good, but like I'm not sad or angry or anything, I just don't feel well. Uh, wallow in self-pity because I did do this several times this month, so I figured I'd get that. Uh, Starbucks. YouTube binge. Although, I don't think I had to buy another sheet of these, so I, oh well. Uh, TikTok binge. And then I got the pregnancy countdown. Um, I got these because we are hoping for a baby sooner rather than later. And I figured I would just start getting prepared for whenever that does happen. Next, I have an order from Moonlight Paper Co. I have the freebie here, which is an icon sampler and these fun colors. I got the podcast stickers. I love her color options. There's so many. Then I got another... Um, album. So this is the pink damask album in the size large. It's a little bent here because I put something heavy on top of it and it kind of like creased it. So I'm hoping that'll come out. Um, but yeah, it's so big. I use this to store all my foil and you get so many sheets in here. I think it's like 60 sheets. Anyway, so I got this and then I got the album labels and the font one in the black glitter which you can kind of see there and this comes separately but i'm gonna use this to like do foil or whatever and then i have another one of these that i'll use like for weekly kits so i really like these they're such a good size the last thing i got is this mini twinkle foil bundle it is in the color Lagoon, and I got this to go with maybe the Atlantis kit from SPC. And it, I think this bundle is so pretty. Like I said, it's the mini, so you only get one sheet of these overlays. You get some headers down here. 
Oh no, you got two sheets of overlays? Awesome. Okay, that's super cool. More headers. Then this is the bottom washi. Pretty. So you get your hole protectors, numbers, headers. And then um, this is the script sheet. I love this sheet. Look at all these beautiful icons and the foil. It looks so good. Like so good. And she makes this in-house. So like this looks really good. And this is font four. And you get like a big variety of colors. Or not colors. Well, also colors. She has so many foil colors available, but you get like lots of scripts. So I'm excited to use this. I haven't been um, planning all it lately because I was waiting on this and like some other stuff that you'll see in this haul. So I'm excited to finally have that stuff. Next, I have a big order from Plan the Hannah. I guess it's not that big. I'm just really excited about it. Um, Hannah released these um, foil samples for all the foils that she has in her shop. And I obviously have to get them so that it's easier for me to match um, match the foil to the kits that I have. And that way, placing orders will be a lot easier and less stressful for me. I love this blue tie-dye. And so, yeah, I'm, like, super excited to have these in my collection. And they were super reasonably priced. So thank you, Hannah, for doing that. Super useful. These were the freebies that I got. Um, I think this was just the shop freebie. I love this, like, box here. So that's cute. And this is in, like, the purple hollow, I think. Lavender hollow. Really pretty. Then I got the fancy wax melts freebie in, like, the red, white, and blue. And then this freebie, which uh, just says, like, fucking hot outside. Too much fucking snow, please stop raining, sweating balls, freezing my tits off, and gloomy like my soul. So I think this was fun to have. Then I got Stranger Things in Font 4, 90 Day Fiance in Font 4, Chick-fil-A, Nap Time, and then these like random pregnancy icons, which are kind of weird looking, but also I kind of like them a lot, so... Like, look at this weird little fetus. Anyway, I'm excited for these. Then I picked up the month scripts in font 5. I got these ocean quotes in silver because I find that most of the, like, sea ocean themed kits I use, I use, um silver with it so I got these for that and I love these that have just the word on the side um I got the emo kid one quotes in light gold then oh on this one I suggested this one in the group I'm fairly local I've been around and I am going to um a 21 pilots concert in September so I'm super excited to use this that week and I got Emo Kid 2 in silver. And I just got these like in whatever, silver and gold because they're the ones that I use more often. I got Reading in light gold. I got Taylor 2 in light gold. Then I got these sparkle underlays and I think this is the blue hollow. Let me check. This may just be blue tie-dye, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that it is so pretty and I'm going to pair this either with the um, other foil bundle for the Atlantis kit or I have another um, mermaid themed kit that I think this would look really pretty with. Then I got two sheets of the fine confetti in light purple. I just got these because I wanted to try them out and um, they will be good to have for the fort. And they'll be good to have just on hand. Then I got the palm trees in light pink. And I think I'm going to use this with some paradise kit from SPC. Maybe. We'll see. Botanicals too. And I think I got this in the antique gold. No. This is the matte bronze. 
and also just another, another one that I picked up just to have on hand. And then the grandma wallpaper, and this is the antique gold, and I think it is so pretty. And I think I do have a kit in mind for these. I just have to check um, my collection. And that is everything from Planet Hannah. Next, I have an order from Once More with Love. I love this journaling card. Always believe in the way you want it to live. I think it's so sweet with the little kitten and the sea. And this it's just like this beautiful, like, ombre watercolor type of look. So I'm super excited about this. I'm definitely going to keep it. And then I placed this order during the wedding sale that they had. So this is the sampler that I got. I love this one, sleeping in the little thing. This one that was a munchkin with like an octopus on its head and I already used that. So this is cute. Um, then I got these mini doodles for marking sushi. Although I don't know if this counts as sushi because I think it's just rice. I got two sheets of the cake slices. One sheet of the iced coffees. I don't normally drink iced coffee, so that's why I only got like the mini ones. I got the You Vex Me sheet because I think I've used most of the ones on my other one. These spring flowers because I do want to start a flower garden. Oh, here's another freebie. Super cute. Oh, I love them so much. Um, IV drips for my monthly infusions. I got puppy cuddles because I wanted to foster a dog and I thought this would be good for that or for just, you know, cuddling with my own dog. Some Legos. Sleeping on the job for what days that I'm like really tired or having a very boring work day. Work has been pretty slow for me lately, so I feel like I'll use these a lot. The summer doodles, because they are freaking adorable. Like, look at these ice cream cones, the sun, the pineapple. These are just so freaking cute. Um, these I did not order. I ordered the sea creatures and I got cruise 2.0. But I love cruising. I like to go on a cruise every year for my birthday. So, I'm not mad to have these. It just means I have to book another cruise. And then I got the upside down sheet because my husband wanted me to watch Stranger Things with him. So uh, I think we've watched the first two episodes and I like it so far. So that's good. Next, I have um, a small order from Glam Planner. I have some kits in my lineup and I realized that I didn't have the correct pieces for them. And I guess in my head, I thought I had stuff in my stash that I could just pull, but I, it turns out I didn't. So... I just placed an order for a few random things. I got this double box just because I like it. I think it's so pretty. Then I got these to supplement a mini kit because I've realized that I mini kits don't really fit my style anymore. I need to go something with something bigger. So I got these to supplement a kit. Then got some glitter headers. And then some more label samplers for other kits that I have in mini format and then I got these glitter headers I hope they match the kit that I have the ones that go with the kit weren't in the shop anymore so I figured these might be close enough and then because there was a sale I picked up this kit that I have been eyeing since it came out I think it's so cute I did get the mini format I'm not sure why because clearly I just said it didn't, doesn't work for me but since it's a lot of pink, I feel like I can find stuff to pull in. I think this is a glitch version. I'm not sure anymore, but I love the colors. I love these balloons. I love the little ghosties. They're so cute. I love like the little polka dots. I just think this is precious. Oh my God, look at these little spiders and these patterns. Oh, this color, it's just so good. It's so good. And I'm so excited to have it. So, yes. Oh my god, this bottom washi. I can't. And then I think I added these on, or maybe they came with it. I don't know. Version 2 skin tone. I love this. This, um, referencing that movie. I forgot what it's called, but I love that movie. I think it's so good. What is it called? Trick or Treat. 
great movie. I've seen that, um, I think it's Chan Plans, that, like, she, like, puts the pull boxes on one side and then the washi on the other side like this, and I think that's so cute. So I'm going to start doing that, too, because I'm a copycat. <laughs> oh, it looks like I did get the add-on sampler and glitter headers. I, they, I just saw these on the floor, so I don't know if they were where they were, but that's good to know. Up next, I have an order from OK Plants. Very excited about this order. I think this uh, journaling card is so cute. And the main reason I placed this order was for a new uh, planner cover, which was this one. And I think, I love, I'm obsessed with this art. I have the weekly kit, the insert cover, the monthly, and now I have the planner cover. And this is what it looks like on the inside, super cute. And um, the planner is from OK Plans too. So for my freebies, I have this, um, I think there was a sale going on and there were a lot of freebies. So I have this little paper clip. And then I have this sheet here this one, I like this little bag, that's so cute. Um, this one. I've been wanting to try this shop out for a while, so I'm excited to have some samples. Um, this one. The uh, planner cup that had everyone in the planner community in a choke hold. And then this script sampler. Oh, then there's the sampler with the scripts. I do have another one of these that I've gone through, so I'm excited to have another one. And then this one here. <laughs> and then this one from Sticker Guru, which I'm like super excited about because I've been meaning to try out their shop. And then two more freeze. Three, all right, yeah, two. So another script one, and then the, I love this box. That's beautiful. I wonder, I should see if that's a kit that they have in the shop. And then the things that I actually ordered, I got these books in gold, or silver and gold. And then these like little eyebrow eyelashes for when I get my eyebrows done. And I got these in black. Next, I'm gonna go through the Caress Press um, July Mystery real quick. It's called Tahiti. I already did a video on this one, but I was really excited and I filmed it, you know, without a tripod, without lighting. So I just wanted to go through it again here. I think it is so pretty. I love the greens and the blues. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to use this. I'm definitely gonna squeeze it in, I think, in August. So, look at these colors. What is that? Well, the good thing is I don't use that sticker, so that's fine. Um, these patterns are so, so, so good. I am obsessed with this one. I'm a Pisces, uh, if you can't tell. And then this page is just so beautiful. This full box down here is insane. These girls are so good. So, so good. This person, she just looks so cool. I'm super excited to use this box. So good. And y'all know I usually don't like the girls that come in these kits. And then here's the functional slash deco page. Super cute. And then some extra girls. So you get so many of these and then the 15 millimeter sheet to go with the washi and another box and I don't know oh something that someone else pointed out that I didn't realize until they mentioned it is that they have these like little tick marks on where to cut your washi so that it's like 
15 millimeter size so i think that's super helpful but i don't know what do you guys think do i do split washi or do i keep the blue one because i love this one so this was the kit <clears throat> And then the foil bundle that came with it is this matte gold. It's called Seashells. And I do have two bundles of this because I didn't realize that this was the mystery kit foil bundle. So I ordered it again in gold and blue. So let me know which one do you think would work best with this. I really like this blue hollow. But I feel like this one just looks so classy. And I don't know if this is too bright for these. So let me know which one you would use. So this is a new foil format. So let's go through it slowly, slowly-ish. So you get your, you have eight full box overlays. Super cute. And then you have five more. So that's what, 13? Just kidding. So 8, 9, 10, 11. And then this is a tall box. I think I have this upside down. Yeah, I had it upside down. And then you get your sets of glitter headers. Or header overlays. Then you have the, the split washi overlays. Some extra headers, hole protectors date dots and little decos and then you get two sheets of the bougie boxes and then all of these scripts and these fun icons i love these icons i think they're so good and i like these a lot more than the old style so i went back and i checked and you get an extra sheet for the same price like the price of the mystery kit didn't increase as far as i could tell so that's super exciting and i know a plan with elisa is like super pumped about this i just know because she always talks about how she doesn't get enough boxes i am so sweaty right now and it is so hot in my office because i had to turn the ac off because it's so loud and right above where i film so I have to turn it off just in case it started blowing. So I'm ready to stop. <laughs> okay, then I got another order from Crest Press. And I got this kit called Rainfall. I'm obsessed with this color scheme, the peach and the blue. Yes, please. I think this is the color scheme I'm doing in my room because my room is peach colored, like pinky, pinkish peach. And then I have like blue, um, like a blue bedspread. Look at this dog. This dog is adorable. I love this little candle. I love like the artwork on here. I think it's beautiful. Yes, I'm so excited about this. These colors are so, so, so good. I'm thinking I'll try to use this in September. Here are the pattern boxes. Here's another box. I I love this box so much. I love all the watercolors. I'm really not artsy at all. I'm not creative, nothing like that, but I, I wish I was. This outfit I would definitely wear. And then here's the bottom washi. And then this page, look at this deco. I think I'm gonna buy a candle like that. I think they're really cute to decorate with. I love these little leaves. And then, um, here's a freebie. And then it came with these extra boxes. I think this girl's hair is gorgeous. I love the ponytail. Here's this beautiful box with the rain. And I love how this is like a rainy day kit without being like a typical rainy day kit. And then here's the bottom washi 15 millimeter strip. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Then I have some more insert covers. Now that I'm looking at this one, it looks kind of bland, but I'll find somewhere to use it. 
And then I got this one, the, what is it, Fall in the City. And I got this one for the September cover. I am starting to think I don't really like Coffee Doodles Co Coffee Doodle Co's art. Um, it's really good. I think just the style of it looks too, I don't know, kind of like, like colored penciled. I don't know. But I, I do like, I like it, but I don't love it. So I feel like this is a good way to get like a bit of the pieces that I like without getting a whole kit. Is it coffee doodles? I don't know. I'm going to have to check because I don't want to be talking shit <laughs> on the wrong artist or any artist, actually. I think they're talented. It's just not for me. Oh, my God. Another Crest Press order. I got this one today. And this one is... So let's start with the spoil bundle up top. This one is called Summertime and I got it in gold. And this one is a mini foil bundle because I do have gold underlays already that I can pull in. And so you just got like little sunscreens and hats and suns and bathing suits and palm trees and flip flops. And oh, this is in a new format. That's awesome. I love how this just has like the sun in it and all, not it's not so busy i love that Ooh, this bottom washi is super cute and then the scripts and icons i'm thinking i may have to get another album from moonlight paper co to separate my regular foil bundles and my fun foiled or my fun foiled stuff because that one i don't i don't <laughs> I don't see this holding any more foil bundles. Then I have two, I have one kit here. It's the Rocky Horror one. Here's a freebie. I first saw Rocky Horror when, um, when I was in college and we did the one where they had like the people dancing in the front and you like, it was interactive. It was super fun. So I, you know, that was just such a good memory. I really love the movie because of that. And then when I first started dating my husband, um, maybe like a day or so before or after we became officially like exclusive, I planned a big date for us and I took us to one of my favorite restaurants and we had my favorite pizza. <laughs> and then we went to a corn maze in the rain and it was dark so like we walked through it with flashlights and we ended the night by going to a showing of Rocky Horror Picture Show um, at our school. And they also had the whole interactive thing and it was so much fun. So it just, it has a lot of good memories for me. So here are the full boxes. I, I love them. I just love it. Um, the colors are so good. I, I love this like purple unexpected to me these are the patterns which are really good is this kittenish girl dress art because i feel like she's been killing it lately oh my god so good so good i'm out of my what does that say I'm out of my head. Oh, hurry, I may be dead. They mustn't carry out their evil deeds. Love, Eddie. Eddie was the one of my least favorites, so sorry about it. Honestly, I feel like this might be good for, like, a non-traditional New Year's spread or a birthday spread because of, like, all the party elements. And then I got the 15 millimeter strip. And these were freebies. So yes, I'm very excited about this. And then here's that cabana art again in the monthly format. I got the deco sidebar. Here's this pig. Obsessed. Obsessed. This is so good. So good. I think maybe next year I'll stop doing monthlies just because I used to do them um, functionally. And as time has gone on, I've gotten really behind on planning. 
and I just feel like maybe it's time to move on from them. And then I have an order from SPC, and I have another order from SPC coming in tomorrow. Here's the freebie. It's um, J. Cruz freebie. I like hers, and I love this color. And then it looks like this is just a bunch of doodle samplers. Ooh, here's a new freebie. Look at this little ghosty. He's so cute. Okay, so you get a foil overlay. Full box overlay. And five headers in gold, silver, rose, hollow. Look at that hollow. And then, what is this? Pixie hollow? I like Pixie Hollow more than regular Hollow. I don't I don't think I like Hollow at all. Um, but these are super cute. That'll be fun to have. The reason I placed this order was because some of these were I think there was a 25% off sale because they were going out of stock or maybe they were just going out of stock. Let me check. There are no prices on here, so I don't know. But some of these were being removed from the site, so I picked them up. And I'll just slip through them pretty quickly. I love this color palette. These will be good for fall. And then for some of these, I do have the matching kits. So I need to go through them and pull them out to, and, you know, put them with the kits that they go with. But I feel like some of these are just so good and they'll go with anything. This one's really pretty. And then some of these I skipped out on and then I got them last minute just because I thought like this one, I'm like, this isn't something I would really use. This, These aren't colors that I would, I don't think I see very typically in kits, but if I do see them, I have this to go with it. And yeah, so those are all doodles I got. And that is the sticker portion of this haul. For the wax portion of the haul, I do have two orders from, one from L3 and then one from Villainous, Villainous Wax. So let's get into them. These came in um, while I was on vacation and I was like, I didn't have service while I was gone. So if I wanted to use the internet, I had to go to the town square to connect to their Wi-Fi um, and so I was going um, every chance I got like every I didn't go every day but I tried to go as often as I could to see when these would get delivered so that I could text my brother and let him know to pick them up because it's really hot in Arkansas and I didn't want them to melt. There's a sticker that says it's always impossible until it's done. I love that. Ooh, candy. They do look a little melty though. So first up, we have pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie buttered rum, cappuccino caramel fudge cake. I do wish those had commas in between them. Ooh, that smells so good. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. Mmm, the cappuccino, the caramel. It's such a good blend such a good blend. Then I have Hoggle, which is cotton candy, frosting, strawberry, raspberry, guava, and blonde moment. I feel like that guava and blonde moment really stick out on this one, but it smells good. I say that like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Then I have the cupboard under the stairs and white elephant exchange. It smells good, just like your average bakery. And I have pumpkin pecan waffles, birthday cake, and sugar cookie royale. This smells so good. Um, strawberry jam, strawberry sugar, strawberry white cake, and summer scoops. I'm obsessed with strawberries, so I feel like this will be a god tier scent. Look, it's all bubbly. I wonder if that's because of it sitting in the heat. Yes, this is so good. Oh, I love the strawberry on that. 
and it feels to me it smells more like a like a real strawberry not an artificial strawberry i have lemon curd strawberry pound cake salty sea air i got this one for the lemon curd because my husband loves lemon and the lemon is definitely the strongest scent there it smells like lemonade and i love that And I have brown sugar, salted caramel, buttered rum, sugar milk, pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles, and pumpkin. This one smells good, but I don't like it as much as the other ones. It's just like an average bakery scent to me. Okay, so I was looking at this one and I was like, I don't remember ordering this. I feel like I wanted to order this and it sold out. And I just looked at my invoice and this was the freebie. So that's super exciting that I still got it, even though it's sold out. This one's called Graveyard. And it's in the shape of a squirrel. So that's super cute. I don't know what the scent notes are. Oh wait, yes I do. Leaves, toasted mallow, and Granny Smith apples. I don't like the leaves scent and I don't like... I'm guessing mallow is like marshmallow. I don't like that, but I wanted this one because of the Granny Smith, Smith apple scent. And I think combined, it's just a really good fall scent. And then last, I have saltwater taffy, blue raspberry, cotton candy, and strawberry sugar. I love the saltwater taffy scents with, and I love blue raspberry and I love strawberry. So I feel like this one will be really good. It smells really light. Um, so hopefully on warm it'll be a bit stronger. So between these two, I think they're so good in different ways. This one's really good in bakery. This one's really good in summer. But I'm going to give the sticker to this one and mark this one as my favorite. I actually placed two orders with Bonus Wax because when I was there for their... I guess it's nice in their anniversary sale. I realized that their pre-order for Halloween was up, so I had to get that as well. So I'm excited for that. I'll do an unboxing when that comes in later. So you get all these worms. Holy fuck. Sorry for the language. Uh, okay, I'm freaking excited about this. We got Laffy Taffies, Taffies, Starburst. Ooh, Werther's. I like those because they remind me of my dad. Some Hearts Candies, Skittles. Some Birthday Cake Dum Dums. Cool. Nerds and another Laffy Taffy. That is so freaking exciting. Sorry, y'all. I just have such a sweet tooth, so like I'm super pumped about this. Here is their card. They just did a rebranding, and I think it's so cool. I love Maleficent. She's probably one of my favorite villains. Her and Ursula. Here is this. Every story needs a hero and its villain. That's for sure. Here's a sticker. Hold on, Winston wants to come in. Up first, I have this freebie. It says, very villainous birthday, birthday cake, buttercream frosting, and crushed pink sugar cookie topping. Super cute. Mmm. It smells very vanilla -y, but like, mmm. I think I like that, but I think I'm going to put this on the background. I like vanilla. Just It just can be a bit overwhelming, but, you know, sometimes. And I have this shot cup, Starfish Don't Lie. It smells like salty sea air, vanilla, orange blossom, and lemongrass. Look how cute! Mm, it smells really good. Again, I think this will be a bathroom scent, but look how pretty. It reminds me of the rainbow fish. What? You want it to be in here. You want to go? I've been filming for almost an hour, so like, I'm losing steam. And then I have some shapes here, cold shoulder, 
and I think these were all like based on a villain because they're from the Villainous Vault. So I think these will should always be available on their site. I'm not sure. This one was a customer creation. So good job, whoever created that. So this is Cold Shoulder. It's Juicy Raspberry and Lingonberry Extract with Fizzy Soda. Mm, that smells so good. It smells like Sprite, but like stronger than Sprite. Um, this one is Fish Killer, your favorite treat on a summer day, complete with strawberries swirled in a creamy sauce. So this one's based off of Darla from Finding Nemo. I like pulling out the wax and like actually smelling it. I feel like I can get a better scent. Yep, strawberry. I love it. This one is cold and cruel. Creamy, buttery milk based custard flavored with vanilla beans with a hard scorched caramel topping. I'm not sure which villain this one is supposed to be, but maybe they were like a pendant. Ooh, this smells so good. Oh, this might be um, after Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. Mm, yeah, that smells like a, like a creme brulee, so that's super good. Then we have Poisonous Bitch after the Evil Queen. This is crisp and juicy Macintosh apple thrown in a fizzy sweet potion. The apple is really strong on this. This kind of smells just like a cleaning scent though. So this one will go in the bathroom. So I'm glad to have some bathroom scents because my uh, basket down there is running low. Oh, and then this one is Spoiled Bullies from the Cinderella Stepsisters. This one is lemon, orange, fluffy white cake, and a fresh brewed cup of hot tea. So, super excited about that. I really like tea and cake scents, so I think this one will be so good. And it is. Mmm. I love that one. Okay, that's awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and go now because I ran out of my antidepressant medication and I'm starting to have withdrawal symptoms and that's not fun. So goodbye.